Hi guys, welcome back. All right, so this is a video for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, we're gonna take a peek, see what's coming up for you, whatever messages I get. It is a general reading, just, it's not that serious. I don't know why I'm stressed about that, but <laughs> take it easy. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so air signs in the pre-shuffle when I'm focusing on you. I, there's something about like an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know what it is about this earth sign, but they keep coming up. They kept coming up when I was pre-shuffling. Um, they have earth in their chart somewhere. I feel as if this person is a nice dresser. Like they're... they're they present themselves well. For a lot of you, this person, I mean, they're attractive or they, or they just, they're, they're clean. They, they present well. Again, I can't emphasize that enough, but there's something in particular about them. An emphasis. They may try to mend something with you, actually. This person. They may feel like they don't have control in the situation, in a particular situation. And uh, the way to make it, it something better is to mend a situation with you. In whatever way this means. I do feel a lot of you air signs will also be taking a chance on something new as well. You may feel a little bit out of your element and be unclear. I mean, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of things that you aren't sure about the outcome of this, but I feel as, and so it's going to feel like a risk. But there will, yeah, choosing a new direction in some sort, a new beginning. For some of you, this could be in a work environment or something you're putting effort into. But there is, there's a lot of like, I, I, don't, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I think you might do it anyway, because whatever it is that you're currently experiencing is very repetitive. Some of you may be okay with that, but other, others of you, the opportunity that presents itself, because I feel like this opportunity is going to be enlightened. The universe is going to light this opportunity up for you. You know, you might dabble and think about it, but this particular one will kind of spark your interest. Some of you, this could be, have to deal with distance or a location change, potentially. There is also an environment, school or work, where I'm, I'm getting someone just, they seem a little bit jealous here. I feel like they don't care for you, is what they would say, but I think it like roots to jealousy. It might have something to do with, the, you know, your personality or your, your looks, your appearance, something is about you intimidates them or bothers them, whatever, I mean, who cares, right? But I am getting that, like, you, you know, there's somebody in your work environment. A lot of you could be feeling exhausted in this current energy. You may be wanting to rest. You'll be feeling more like that. Because I was hearing something like in this moment, you could be, maybe there's, 
you've been working at a particular thing or putting effort into a direction for a while and you may feel as if you're sort of losing this battle or you lost because I heard like lost a battle but you're just exhausted and you're tired so even if you're losing or not you're just tired at this point is kind of what I'm feeling all right, so that's pretty much what I was picking up. Let's go ahead and do the specific signs. Let's go Gemini. Let's start with Gemini. Gemini's, you specifically are going to be needing to rest for, for whatever reason. I was just getting that. All right, the universe, connect me with the energy for my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on? What's coming up this week for my Gemini's? This is deception and envy for my Gemini's. This is Tramp. Okay, so I do want to say something about this base chakra memories of love. There's some relevance about uh, the past. Something from the past will come into play, and there's going to be a new opportunity or new beginning. And with the base chakra here, it feels stable. Uh, whatever this new beginning is, it'll bring bring that. But it's there's relevance to the past. There's an answer or there's a key here. Some of you, this could be an idea or a memory. Specifically, if this is on a creative realm, I'm getting a lot of success on whatever this is. Whatever, whatever new thing you get involved in. But somehow it's tied to the past or the answer is in the past that brings success to the present. So nice energy. I do feel like with the universe and the triumphant here, um, I feel like the universe is going to hand you a win. Something's going to work out in your favor. This is also reminds me of like online success or so, something being received very well. So if you're presenting a product or an idea or a concept, I feel as if it will do well to whoever receives it, especially in regards to like internet things or global. So that that's a nice energy. I do feel, okay, so there's some jealousy. This is this jealousy energy that I'm getting again. Someone may be hiding how they really think about your you or something you said or did or I don't know. I'm just feeling like that's kind of what I'm getting here. Stand your ground. So there may come uh, I'm getting a confrontation some sort of conversation. You may kind of see this coming, third eye chakra. You see through this person, whoever this is. And you may have to, and okay, so even if it's the seventh house, this has something to do with um, partnerships that you're involved in. This could be, again, though, personal or business related. I don't feel as if you're that close with this person, but you, but see, they, again, there's something that needs to be worked out. You're going to have to defend your position or defend yourself or defend your point of view. Yeah, I'm just feeling like whoever this is just seems like they don't care for you in this moment, which I mean... 
oh, well, that's life. You're, you're doing well in a different area. You're starting something new, but you will be experiencing this with whoever this is. Yeah. Okay. A caution again. I, I have the, I hesitate to say this, but I keep getting it. So I'm just going to say it. Um, I caution anybody who is doing anything, you know, under the rules, not following in compliance, um, any type of deception energy. Someone will see through this or you do. I'm getting that. Like, it could be anything from like stealing, lying. I don't know. I'm seeing that that like in somebody sees through this. Or again, you do. So, all right. Let's go ahead and go to Libra. Connect me with the energy piece for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Show me what's going on for Libra, please. What's coming up for Libra this week? My Libras. You might be thinking about making a particular financial move or a move that you view will increase stability. Up for Libra this week. Libra this week. Moving forward with an opportunity here. There will be forward movement in regards to an opportunity. Could be actual travel involved or just energetic forward movement. Six of Swords and Ace of Wands. So what's coming up for this week? You're coming right into an opportunity here. There will be communication coming in about this. You may not see this coming or you may not be quite sure how you feel about a particular... About doing something in particular involving other people. You might not be sure if you want to meet with somebody or deal with them or I don't know. I'm, I'm just, okay. So what is this Ace of Wands please for what's coming up for Libra this week? Okay. Okay, three of swords and ace of cups. An opportunity, this feels like a, it's a nice opportunity after a disappointment. Ace of wands and ace of cups here, which is, which is a lot of chemistry. You might be heartbroken and meet a new love or um, or or be I'm just getting something about like carrying heartbreak, being not completely healed, but having love presented to you here. And with th this is a lot of potential again with this Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups, especially sexually page of. Page of Wands. I know sexual isn't everything. But in order to, now I am also feeling that like, whatever, whatever this is, there could be an opportunity in love and then also an opportunity in regards to an endeavor of yours, a passionate, an endeavor that holds interest to you in some sort of way. But you may have to let go of something and walk away. Some of you may have to move or may just have to let something go that's very hard to let go of in order to have a new opportunity. 
okay, so what else is coming up? What else is this for Libra coming up? The lovers, nine of wands, four, okay. Um, they want to, you know, they want to talk about love. This is what they want to talk about. I don't know if you want to talk about it because you seem a little bit like nine of wands and the lovers. You seem like you look at partnerships and connections very cautiously because you have survived, you have, you have endured, and you have a lot of things behind all those wands. You have a lot of things that you, that you have going on and you've been wounded and you're, so you, whatever this is that's coming and presenting to you, you're going to be very cautious and reserved with it with the four of pentacles. A lot of you, I feel like, yeah, the universe is bringing the star and the two of cups. The universe is bringing some particular partnership to the forefront. It is highlighting this. There could be some obstacles or delays in the forward movement of this in the beginning, especially, especially if there's any travel or distance involved. Because for a lot of you, I mean, some of you, this is a romantic partnership. It feels like it with all this, but some of you, this could be something that you're just very passionate about that you are striving for. And, and there's a lot of opportunity kind of moving forward in that direction this week. But, uh, but for those of you that this is a partnership, I do feel as if um, somebody's going to fight for forward movement in this connection to heal it, to move it forward, to have an opportunity. Somebody is holding on and not giving up. Yeah. Very possible to come across new love, in this time or or an emphasis of a love that has had some delays and obstacles so but because you know i keep thinking of you know and not everybody does this but i do keep thinking of sex when i look at this specifically a very compatible sexually as well there's some emphasis about that for those of you that do do that. Do do that. <laughs> so awkward. Okay. But yeah. Soulmate alert, destined partnership alert. You know, pathways that you're meant to travel on, meant to go. You're you're meant to there's a specific pathway you're supposed to be taking you are super guarded about this but okay that's pretty much all i have to say so about that so let's go ahead and do aquarius i feel as if there's something that you've done or presented or shown that is going to be, you're going to feel good about it. It's, it's going to be well received. You could be joining and joining, joining, getting involved in some sort of event or partnership of uh, some kind here. All right, connect me with the energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me what's coming up this week for Aquarius. Aquarius. What's coming up this week for Aquarius? I feel a lot of you with the Nine of Pentacles, standing independent, um, money feels okay. There could be some struggle, struggle in regards to negotiation, a little bit of defensive, 
energy around money and stability, but at the same time, I still feel like you still feel okay here with this Nine of Pentacles. So, I am feeling some tension in regards to emotions with the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and then the Hangman. I do feel as if there is a love. There is someone you care about. Um, it doesn't feel... But it seems like you've been through a lot or there's, you know, you either personally have been through a lot or you've been a lot through a lot with this person. Um, Hangman and Ace of Cups, though, I feel as if in regards to love and emotions, it's kind of, it's like a, I'm getting a, like a stalemate energy. You may not, you may not want to let go of this. The feeling, but the, the movement isn't getting a lack of movement, but there is a, an ace of cups. So there is somebody that you're interested in or care about. Like I said, uh, what is this? What, what else is going on here for Aquarius this week? Okay, so there could be some misunderstandings in regards to emotional conversations and in particular somebody that you care about. I do feel like, you know, there might I'm hearing things left unsaid, but there also might be things that were said wrong and it's just it's five of cups, kind of a disappointing energy. So something feels unresolved here. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like the timing is off. What is this Wheel of Fortune bringing in for the Aquarius? I just want to see. What is this? Okay. Blocked. That's what I heard. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Uh, I feel like the energy is kind of defensive and it... For whatever reason. Queen of Swords and then the Eight of Swords. There's something that's on your mind that you're thinking about. That you might, it might be a timing thing. I feel as if there's something coming up for you. You could have um, several things going on or on your plate in the coming weeks. I do feel as if like if there's anybody that's dealing with you in love, they might be a little bit confused. They might feel kind of disappointed for whatever reason. But I kind of, I'm getting that like your mind is elsewhere. You've got something else to do. Like the time is for you to do something else. You're thinking about something else here. I don't know. That's what I just keep getting. Eight of Wands and Eight of Cups. Also, potential communication about having to leave or go somewhere. So, all right. Well, that's pretty much what I'm picking up. Okay, so I'm going to close it here. Bye-bye.